we are going to make all kinds of things for Arclinux CHDWM. Let's see if it finds it already. So still a few, well, already a few of these things, but no, wrong thing. But yes, we need to go there later. <laughs> Arclinux.com, we have the Arclinux D. Let me show you that as well in this video again, maybe. That we have here the information about CHDWM. I've made already four videos about it and YouTube is still, um, how do you say that, making the video ready. So that's one thing we have to take care of. The other thing is making scripts, so GitHub. So yes, indeed, if you want to install um, Arco Linux D and then CHDWM. Let's see what we get. So Arco Linux D, one of the latest guys is this one, that one, those guys, Hyper. That's the one. If you want to use our scripts, use our scripts. That's already covered. Well, not yet. <laughs> I'll have to make another video, but Arco Linux B is the one I want to do first. You can always, any day, build ISOs. Just this morning, I told somebody not on Monjaro, on all these guys, but not on Monjaro, right? So we can build any of these guys. Pantheon is here, but yes, who's not here is CHADWM. So it is actually super simple. And the only thing you need to do is change whatever, whenever, whatever article you open. So let's open this one. Whatever you open, the only difference is these letters. C H A D W M. So I'll make a video about this, what we're doing now, right? An article about how to build it. You could clone it. Well, actually it's already git cloned. So you can copy paste later on chdwm. That's it. Is making an ISO that easy? It is. You either decide to run number 40, which means use the packages you already have, or first clean out the cache. So if you don't know yet what that means, Pacman cache, arch wiki Pacman cache, those are the words. In here is your choice. Arch Linux is a big Lego box. It can have all kinds of little pieces and they all fit together. And it's up to you to decide what pieces you like. But don't start in the beginning, that's too technical, but start at the bottom. You'll recognize things in the bottom. While I'm here, no, it's okay. Um, Let's change from plain text to Perl. This will be installed that, that everything gray is not installed. But do not just go changing everything. The things you recognize that you know, I can miss that. I don't need that. I'm not a yay bin fan. I wouldn't remove it. Why? Sometimes Paru fails, then we have yay. Sometimes YA fails, and then we have Paru, so two AOR helpers. But have a look at all the applications like Firefox, Vivaldi, maybe some games you want to install. It's your ISO. You put on the ISO what you want. Some more icons in here or less icons in here, another cursor. It's all about choices. Here's Vivaldi, this is for YouTube, that's for Netflix. You need these things you need to know the packages. What are our packages we can play with. Okay, so you you just decide what you put a hashtag in front of it or not. Of course, later on, Super T won't work. That's a key binding and the Super T, yeah, application is not there. You can press Super T all you want. It will try to launch that particular application. Eh, won't be there. No error, nothing, just won't launch. So, you decide I haven't changed anything at this point and you just press enter and you start building. We're using the Arch ISO so sometimes you can have something red in here that means that there's a new Arch ISO version and well 
it depends but monthly and there's a new arch linux and sometimes there's also then a new arch iso because arch linux uses arch iso to build the arch linux iso and we use it as well and that's why you can't build on manjaro right you need to build on something that has arch iso all right well that's one reason all you need to do is sit back you can scroll up and read and all that but basically the end result is an iso and then it's up to you first maybe to test it out in virtual box say okay like this don't like that don't want that and so on and so on you keep on testing and then you can burn it on usb little tool up here min stick you put, pop in the iso tell them where to burn it and that's it you test it on real metal let's uh pause the video so it's not needlessly long and it's finished 2.4 gig you go to your system to the arclix b out that's where it's built that's where it's going to go out you can always compare uh, version 1 with version 2 and have a look at what did i choose did i forgot to install something all the packages are here listed nicely together all right next video is let's test this out